Really? Yeah. They extended the life of the car by two years by putting in into the pool system. Well, I think it would be a lot better if they can take and assign an officer per car. Yeah. You can almost do that with anybody. I mean, any division. Yeah. And only that person drives it. Mm -hmm. And there's pool cars when it's down. So now that person's accountable for that vehicle versus other people jumping, say, jumping in your truck, driving, tearing up yeah. something. Yeah. And they're like, Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You get it like so. you get in something that's out of gas, and then you, right. you, you drive it a little bit, but you don't put gas in it. You know? That would cost a lot of money at first to, to equip them all. I, I get that, yeah. but but then they'll last longer. You're gonna they're gonna be accountable. So the supervisors will obviously have the key to a spare key that we could lock it in or something like that, uh, lock the key in. But under no circumstances does, does anybody drive it. Unless I guess you have an emergency in the city, yeah. that would be you know. That would be expensive though. I, you know all the equipment they put in those. Is that expensive? Huh? Is that expensive to do all it's that? It's got to double the cost of the Tahoe. Really? I'm not kidding you. It's got a lot There's of stuff lot. in there. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of money up front, but it would save them money in the long run because then they can hold that officer accountable yeah. or the employee. It could be, like I said, any division. Yeah. Okay, so I'm coming up. Do you remember where we launched on the corner of that levee? So I'm coming up that that corner of that levee where we launched from. I'm on this side. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Remember how we followed this around and it bends yeah. to the left and then it bends to the right. Yep. So I'm coming up to that right now. Is that far enough on the Brazos? Yeah, and then we'll go there and then we'll finish on Oxbow. Yeah. Okay. Because if you look right here, remember that cell tower that's over there? Yeah. So that's where I'm at. Wait, that's us. Yeah. But that's that's where we stopped last time too, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and that's far enough. Okay. That's uh, the end of the city limits. So I'm going to do a little bit higher shot though so we can get um, the water. Okay. Because it's to that uh, oil pipeline or that gas line that's right there. So your your camera does that record all the time? No, it does like the vehicles. It just loops back uh, thirty to forty five seconds, depending on what they've been set for. So in your car cameras, it's the same thing. It's that it's on a continuous loop, but it don't save stuff or you know nothing but about the last forty five seconds, something like that. So if I see somebody run a red light, I'm in one of the Tahoes or whatever. I can just turn on my lights or get the switch to start recording. The lights will activate it. Oh, cool. So it'll lapse about 30, anywhere from 35 to 45 seconds. Well, I remember I, I was, I didn't know, I didn't, like, when I got that ticket, I didn't notice that there was a camera out there. And then when I showed up for my, um, for court date, I saw my picture and I was like, he had a camera on? I didn't even see it. Now, did you see a picture on the paperwork? On the, on the paperwork, okay, yes, that's sir. A, that's a ticket writer. Uh, because the cameras are fairly new, uh, we've had them longer in traffic than anybody else. But... Wow, look at it, the levee over here. This connects to Oxbow. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm high enough there. You can see that's a camera there anywhere we turn it. Hmm. Oh, cool. So, so when you're signing continue. it, your picture's being taken? Uh, not even signing it, because I, I control when I take it. Nice. So, and all it is is just one of the tabs here, this PICT, you know, for picture. Uh -huh. Touch that, hit the uh, viewfinder, and it sets it up, and then just... Is that so? Take it of you, but I captured it. That's yeah. you know, captured. Just hit capture. And if I don't like it, then I can just uh, go back and do it. Is that so the person couldn't be like, well, that wasn't me driving? It's more for, uh, yeah, for uh, for when they don't want to show up for court. And it's actually helped some because there's some people, believe it or not, that we run into that don't have their driver's license. They give their brother and sister's name. Comes to find out they have warrants or something like yeah. that. Or, um, when they do that, but sometimes they do that and then uh, there's a warrant, you know, because they don't take care of it in there. That, 
party gets arrested. Yeah. It verifies it. Yeah. So I didn't get a ticket. So when you go back and they can look later at the uh, picture, and that, and that's on Brad's ticket. It's a paper ticket, obviously. We don't have it. But uh, well, other than the body cameras now, yeah. the body cameras will pick it up too now. So. It's basically for ones that fail to appear. Yeah. And that's who we got. Plus, well, like I said, it works good whenever somebody, they gave the wrong information, then you could, even though they've been arrested at that point, it's kind of bad, the vehicle may have been towed, but then we could talk, you know, see that, no, it really isn't them, you know. Yeah. And then, but we ask, you know who this is? You know, and they're like, oh, this is my brother, my sister, whatever. Actually, I got something that way. <laughs> I want the nerve, I'm gonna think about that. You know, think about members. Okay guys, we're going to stop live streaming now.